Dean of Master School of Management here in Romania. Uh, you've also been hearing over the last week, we've met before, our other staff I'll introduce right now. We have Ada Feyervari in the back. Stand up, Ada. Missions and uh, Program Coordinator. We have Armina back there who's checking you in, who works with our marketing and social media. Thank you. And then Dora, get out of there from behind the column. Dora, the Managing Director and also the Co-Founder of MSM Romania along with me. So we all welcome you to our, uh, our premises tonight. I always take a little survey. Who has been to one of our master class events before? Raise your hand. Okay, so raise your hand if this is your first time at our uh, offices or first time at one of our events. That's great. Welcome. It's nice. It's uh, a lot more new faces than we're used to seeing. So uh, that's good. We like to see that. Um, this master class tonight is a little bit of a sneaky tactic we use in marketing because uh, we want to give you something that's very uh, useful to you and will give you a lot of benefit. But in reality, we are a school that has an MBA program. We're very proud of our, of our students and our reach in the community and what we're doing to offer the MBA to Romania. And we felt this is the best way to give people a chance to see what it is we do. These MBA master classes are led by actual teachers in our MBA program. We always have them on Thursday nights because the same teachers who do the master classes the next day start teaching the students because our MBA program is a weekend MBA designed for working professionals. So tomorrow at 2 o'clock, Joy will start teaching a regular course. And so we always invite the teachers to come in a day before and do these master classes and we don't set an agenda for them. We say, you tell us what you would like to talk about, something you think is relevant or interesting or just enjoy talking about. And our hope is that you are so impressed, Joy, the <laughs> pressure's high. That's right. our, our hope is that you'll find a linkage between the kind of knowledge you think is useful in your business life and what we're providing here. And if you do find it interesting, and we find that we're a match both in terms of what your goals are for your future training and what we're providing, then we want to talk with you more about your educational needs and where the MBA may fit in your future. So you wouldn't buy a car without test driving it first. So we consider this a type of test drive for the MBA program. Now, if you don't have an MBA in your future and you're not considering it, that's fine. We welcome you. If you already have an MBA, that's fine. We welcome you back. I'm about 11 years since I did my MBA, and it's getting close to time for me to do an executive MBA to refresh everything because the business world changed a little bit in the last 11 years. So if you have an MBA already, it's, you can consider one again. Uh, but even if it's not in your agenda, or maybe you're a doctor and you don't care about business, but you want to learn about investing, at least tell your friends. If you know somebody in your family or friends that are considering it. We're very proud of our location, our facilities. We have great students, which uh, I'll introduce, I'll embarrass them at the end. No, I'll, I'll do it now because I have to go down and make some conference calls and I don't know if I'll be back in time to embarrass them. So every time we have one of these, we we'll are always welcome our current students and our graduates. And so I'm going to ask all of them to stand up right now. All of them to stand up right now. You're so slow. So everybody you see standing here, if you want to learn more about the MBA program, and they're standing in the back too, um, if you want to learn more about the MBA program, I invite you to talk with them. Find one of these people. Because the people I introduced at first, Dora, Armina, Ada, myself, we're paid to say great things about our program. That's our job. But they have a different interest and they'll tell you exactly what they think of their experience. Uh, some of them haven't had joy yet. Some of them will have joy for the first time tomorrow. Uh, no, next, no. Next month. Uh, yeah, tomorrow they will have. Yeah, okay. She's teaching in so many programs around us. So find them, find out some more information. And uh, we consider this also, besides saying it's a crass marketing technique, we do feel it as part of our responsibility as a university. Universities, um, our location where new ideas are formed, where people have the luxury of spending their days thinking about business, thinking about business problems, thinking about solutions to business problems. And we don't think that's correct to just keep that knowledge just to ourselves or just to the students that enroll in the program. We feel it's part of our responsibility to the community to also make some fresh ideas available. And that's part of why we do this also. It doesn't hurt that it's a good taste of what we offer as a program. I'm not going to talk any more about the MBA program because you're not here to hear about the MBA program, you're here to hear about money. Uh, but everything that uh, we have to offer you can find in the brochure. If uh, 
did we, we didn't hand out the brochures on their seats, did we? Okay, so we have brochures at the back that you can get on your way out. Um, the magazines you have received for free are from uh, some uh, periodicals and publications that we respect in the community, have worked with us for a long time. And so they're partners with us and we're happy to hand those out. We also are partners with the uh, Netherlands Romanian Chamber of Commerce. Being a university whose home base is in the Netherlands, it makes sense for us to have strong links with the, the Netherlands uh, business community. So we thank them for their support and sponsorship. Um, if I think I've covered everything, Dora, have I missed anything? No. Not at all. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll give you over to Joy for the next four hours. Joy is... <laughs> well, no, she'll, she'll do the two-hour version tonight. Uh, Joy, we've had the pleasure of working with as a teacher in our programs for many years. Uh, ever since I entered this business seven years ago, can you believe it's been that long ago? Yeah. Seven years ago as the MBA director at CEU Business School in Budapest, Joy was already one of our uh, best teachers, one of our most liked teachers from the students, and we have a greater than normal turnout of alumni tonight because they all love Joy. Yes. <laughs> So we're happy to always have her here. And Joy still isn't convinced, but one day we'll convince her how loved she is by our students. Uh, and I think by the end of the night, you'll understand why our students love sitting in class with her. Uh, so she is our finance expert. Joy is originally from Singapore, but her knowledge of Central Eastern Europe is better than anybody here. She's been living in Budapest and working out of Vienna and Budapest for many years. She also was working for several years as the head of uh, accounting and finance for KPMG Central Eastern Europe until she decided she would rather dedicate her time to spend time teaching to my students instead of KPMG. So that's where we're at. I hope you enjoy the evening, and we'll talk to you more at the end. You're welcome to stay as long as you want afterwards. We have tea and coffee. It is cold outside, even though it's warmed up to minus three, which is warm for this month. It's, you're welcome to stay and stay warm as long as you want this evening afterwards. So, Joy, Thank you. enjoy your presentation tonight. <laughs>